Hey everyone! Today we are going to review a site and try to find some things that can be improved. It's not a leaf review, I recorded all my notes up front and tried to be straight to the point. Also, I referred to some resources that are tightly related to this review. All links are in the description. Before we begin, if you are new here, my name is Victor and I'm a developer who is keen on UI and UX. So if you are interested in user interfaces, consider subscribing, I'm sure you'll find some valuable content on my channel. The first thing that struck my eye was this picture showing what is hidden under the landing page, literally what I'll get once I sign up. Also, notice that the phone is clearly visible. Sometimes people put the description text right on the place that has some essential details in the background. Let me show you an example. On the left picture the text covers part of the face, while on the right picture we can see the face and it looks better. However, the description is a little bit long, in my opinion. Usually two or three sentences are enough. Also for me, the white color is a little bit too hard to read. Perhaps you need to put some kind of overlay or increase the font size and make it more scannable. I would certainly highlight the number of developers, for example. Next, let's take a look at the inputs. A common mistake is the inappropriate use of borders. They really don't look good in this case. Also, I'm not sure if you should ask for the username. The fewer things you ask, the more the conversion is. Here is the research related to this from HubSpot. What I like is the link, go straight to content, which allows me to skip to the sign up process. Remember that the hero section is the most important. Typical mistakes I can think of are small font size, poor contrast, bad copy, small CTA button, buzzwords, and so on. By the way, if you want me to review your site, drop the link in the comments, I might review it in my future videos. Now we have navigation at the top of the page, which has a fixed position. What confuses me here is that different links have different styles. At the same time, login and sign up have the same styling as some other links. So I would say that the hierarchy, the priority of links is a bit broken. I would move the premium link somewhere else, probably right in the hero section or show it somewhere across the page. As for testimonials, I would style them as other links. And yes, they are too old in my opinion. Login and sign up should have different values. A landing page aims to convert visitors, so sign up is more important than login. If somebody has already signed up and knows your site or app, they will find their way to login, no need to highlight it much. But for new visitors, a call to action should be the register button. So I would make the sign up link look like a button. What's good though is the copy. Sometimes people use sign in and sign up together and it's hard to understand what is what. Let's move on. It's good to see the app screenshot, not an abstract image. But I would reduce the number of text, make it a little bit bigger. As for the screenshot, I would remove unnecessary parts like the address bar and maybe cut the right column out. That will allow us to enlarge the screenshot to make it more prominent and easier to examine. Alright, the next section. Here, in my opinion, the blurred background doesn't look good. As far as I understand, the idea was to use it as a background to make the text easier to read, but it just doesn't look suitable for me. A way to keep it cleaner is to follow the same style as the previous section. That's completely fine, and you can use a screenshot, not a photo. Then no need to invent fancy blurred backdrops. When you are unsure how to make something look designed, you can stick to minimalism and simplicity. Minimalistic design is the best one, if you ask me. Also remember that there is the similarity law. When you describe a feature of your app in some way, users expect to see the same pattern when you describe another feature. When the pattern changes, it takes some time to realize what's going on. 
So let's return back to our landing page. In this section, we can see that the pattern changes again. Not only do we have another background picture that is not related to the site at all, we also can see that the heading and description are placed above the screenshot. So what I would do is, I would have the same pattern for every feature description. I would switch the screenshot place, like on the left, then on the right, then on the left, then on the right again. And there is no need to visually separate these sections with background images. Whitespace can do this for you, or you can use some subtle background for even or odd sections. Alright, the following sections share the same mistakes, so we will skip them. Now, here we can see a video from the founder. That looks like a solid thing to improve user trust and I really liked it. However, right below the video we can see two CTA buttons. First of all, placing two CTA buttons so close are not good for conversion rates. Second of all, the font size is too small. If I understand correctly, this button shows us all the success stories. But you usually show some of these stories and then end, a link leads to a dedicated page. Now, the testimonials look very good. They really increase trust because they are not just text or images, they are actual tweets. You can see that every testimonial has the author link and the tweet link, which is awesome. Now, the footer looks like a bunch of links made for SEO. I'm not an SEO specialist, but I have seen a lot of sites and they are doing well without the SEO word spam, so I would consider removing them. In terms of UI, they don't make any sense. Actually, it's a catalog of links, so it might be placed somewhere in the navigation or a separate section on the landing page. The only thing that I would definitely get rid of is the repetitiveness of questions. Alright guys, let me know in the comments what do you think about this type of videos, because it's important for me. See you later!